in the morning, nothing beats a good cup of coffee. Nothing. Okay, maybe hugs and kisses from my wife, but coffee's a close second. How's it going everyone? Chantil coming at you with another weekly video and today we are talking about Spider-Man. Not the overly awkward Tobey Maguire Spider-Man. Not the funny but overly confident Andrew Garfield Spider-Man. The Spider-Man played by Tom Holland. You're the Spider-Man. No, I'm not. I'm not. This is just a costume. This is You're on the ceiling. One of the things that I love about Tom Holland playing Spider-Man is he's probably the youngest actor we've ever had to play Spider-Man. I'm sick of Mr. Stark treating me like a kid. But you are a kid. Yeah, a kid who can stop a bus with his bare hand. The Spider-Mans we had before were at least 10 years older than their character, which kind of made it odd and awkward seeing them walk through the halls of a high school. It just didn't fit. With Spider-Man Homecoming, when you're at the high school, you actually feel like you're in a high school environment. You, you see the awkwardness. You'd see the ridiculous jests and jokes and... Just some of the maturity level that comes along with high school and how ridiculous it can be. I'm not going to talk too much about that because I don't want to give anything away. Too late. You guys are losers. But they did an excellent job of portraying high school. Finally, thank you. Thank you Marvel for doing it right. Now as far as character development goes, I think that Marvel and Sony did an excellent job at rounding out the characters. You can see the motivation behind what they're doing. It's really nice to see Tony Stark in a uh, kind of a, a counseling, almost like fatherly type role. We definitely get to see him grow. If you compare the Tony Stark that we have in Spider-Man Homecoming to the Tony Stark that we have in the first Iron Man, it's basically, it's almost two different people. Not that he's like different, not that he's like a different person and they threw off his personality. You just see the growth from one to the other. I was just trying to be like you. I want you to be better. I'm gonna need the suit back. But I'm nothing without this suit. If you're nothing without this suit, then you shouldn't have it. Now, if I were to find something to negatively critique about this film, which honestly is really hard to do because I really liked this whole movie. I think they did a phenomenal job. But the one thing I will say is when you compare it to the other Marvel movies, it's not as epic. I got this. Okay, so it has its epic moments, but it's not epic in the grand scale that like um, Iron Man, uh, Captain America, or Thor were. At the same time, you are dealing with a high schooler, so it wouldn't be like quite world scale as uh, you know, some of the other heroes that I mentioned. Um, but I think they do a phenomenal job at, uh, at portraying, you know, this is really like, it's, it's, it's not really the origin story, but more like the coming out story of, uh, of Spider-Man Homecoming. Um, one thing I will mention to those of you wondering, do we have to see Uncle Ben die again? Thank God, no. No, we don't. We already know that that happens. There's a brief mention of it, but we don't have to watch that moment again. Whew. Now, on to a few more critiques. Um, visual effects. Uh, again, not as grand scale as a lot of the other Marvel movies, but absolutely phenomenal. I, I don't think there was one time where I watched something and I was like, ooh, that, that didn't look quite right. You know when you're watching an epic, epic scale movie and something happens and you're like, oh look, there's a, there's a fake CGI person falling. Like, I didn't see any of that. It, it was phenomenally done. If a person was CGI, I, I didn't know it. I gotta be honest, it was, I looked for those details and, and I couldn't find one. Uh, maybe if you're sitting there specifically trying to hone in on just the graphics, you might be able to see something, but I didn't. Uh, it was, it was phenomenally done. Uh, all the visuals were uh, believable and crisp and clean. 
it was it was great. Uh, as far as family friendliness goes, uh, as comparing it to the other Marvel movies, I'd say this is probably the most family friendly of all of the superhero movies. Uh, of course, it is about a teenager, so that would make a little more sense. Uh, now, I wasn't keeping a tally, but I think that only one person in the entire film died, which, wow, that's crazy for a superhero movie. And there was very, very minimal uh, swearing, which was really nice for a younger audience. You don't have to worry about covering their ears all the time. Uh, that was that was wonderful. Overall, I would say when it comes to the superhero movies, very family friendly. Uh, now, for me personally, I, I would rate it like an 8 out of 10 for family friendliness. Why? Well, <clears throat> I probably have stricter rules than you. If I had an 8 year old, I wouldn't take them to go see it. Uh, you can you can love that or, or hate that. Uh, I guess my rules are going to be a little stricter than most people. Sorry to my future kids. I promise you will live. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So that's that's pretty much my review of Spider-Man: Homecoming. Uh, I tried to make certain I didn't give anything away. What's up, guys? Wait a minute. You guys aren't the real Avengers. I can tell Hulk gives it away. Seriously, there are crazy twists in this movie that you do not see coming. I was told there were twists, and so I'm watching, waiting for the twist, and then when the twist happened, it blew my mind. I had no idea that that was what was going on. It, it was amazing. It was awesome. So, my recommendation, go see Spider-Man Homecoming. Uh, see it in the theaters. Uh, watch it on Redbox or just flat out buy it when it comes out on DVD because it's going to be awesome it is awesome it's a great addition to the Marvel Universe and I cannot wait to see spider-man actually in a full-on Avengers movie I guess that's a spoiler we know that spider-man's gonna show it up in other movies I mean that's why they made this movie so it's not really a spoiler. If you didn't know that, then you weren't paying attention. Oh, okay. <clears throat> That's it for me for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, consider subscribing, drop a like on it, leave a comment. Uh, let me know if there's any other critiques that I missed that you want everybody else to know. If you're going to leave spoilers, please put a spoiler alert at the front of your comment. We don't want to ruin the movie for people who don't want to know. So that's it for me. Just remember, whatever game you play, whenever you play, good luck, have fun, and don't die. Until the next video, Shintil, out. Where are you going? What are you hiding, Peter? I'm just kidding, I don't care. Bye.